Hi, my name is Auto Body Man. Today I'm going to talk to you about repainting old parts that you don't want to get destroyed, but you want to reinvest in, that you don't want to destroy by taking it all off, but you want to make it look even better than what it is already. If you notice, I already taped off what I want for this to look even better with. This is an old project of mine from 2005, 2006, 2007-ish. And this was a tricoat compound that I feathered out and wanted to make it look better. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a uh, feather stage. Basically, I'm gonna two-tone it, but I'm gonna feather it, blend it make it look like it's blending into one color to the other. But this underneath is still going to be there underneath all this taped down stuff. To, to finish this project of mine, I'm going to use black paint and red paint. I need these two gloves so I don't get paint on my hands. Tape that I already put on here and uh, if you notice in the corner, I already tested it to see if it actually come out the way I want it. I did it on a piece of table that I wasn't going to repaint again to see if it was going to come out really good. I'm going to start with the black because I'll, I know what's good, what I want it to do. Because the red, I can blend it the red better than into the black that I can into to the red. Always shake well. I already degreased this before I started taping. There's a lot of types of degreaser you could use. Do I have another one in here? Yeah, I'll get the pen. You can get any degreaser from your local automotive store, but I use uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, cotton swabs. Let it sit for five five minutes after I wiped it down, so the air, it could air dry, so it gets all the contaminants out, and then I go to paint it. Also, if you notice. I left certain spots open because I want this to blend properly and I, I think it's going to make it look even better to, to the effect I want it to look like. So let's get this into it. Oh, I almost forgot my mask. You want to be in a well ventilated area. If you're doing this in a garage, make sure you have all the doors open. For one, if, you, if you're in a one car garage, make sure you have that door open and a fan pointed outside so you can evaporate all the air of the paint fumes out from the open. And if you're in a three car garage, make sure you tape off with a tarp so you don't get tape, uh, air, so you don't get paint fumes on any other vehicle in the, in the other two bays, like I have. This is my personal paint booth. It's also my filming studio. Safety first. Good seal, let's get tightened. Always use a respirator, it helps save lives. Test, test, test. Okay. Lightly. So the first coat's always a light coat. So don't have to go really hard. I want it to go about there. So I want to make sure I'm blending down halfway. Okay. 
Lighter the throat, easier it will blend. I got fish from Lowe's. It's good for outdoor use, that's why I know it works. Always shake well with every can you have. We're going to let that dry. And then we're going to do set up our second coat in 20 minutes. You only need two coats. Take the tape off and then you clear coat it. You do two coats of clear and then you're good. That's all we have time for today. This is Auto Body Man saying I hope you take care, stay safe, and happy having Auto Body Day.